Hey everybody, I just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a gameplay analysis on my We're own We're going to do this until we get this uh, damn drop. In this case, and probably more often if I can. It's uh, where I just point out the things I think like I did well, the, the things people. I think I could have done better puts you in the game. Such a just huge kind of disadvantage. break down some of the gunfights so that you guys can earlier. understand how I'm thinking a little bit more in the moments and understand, uh, you know, like you know maybe good decision making or bad decision making. Um, in PUBG, as opposed to when I'm streaming and I just kind of like go through everything and I don't always have time to explain how, you know, nuanced every little thing in the game can actually be. So, so I hope this helps those of you who, who I'm making this for. It, <laughs> let me know if it does. So, when it comes to when it comes to hot drops, one of the most important things you need to get good at, and you'll see me tilt at the beginning of this video because I'm not. I haven't been playing enough to really understand the parachute mechanics, the new parachute mechanics right now, and I've been figuring them out throughout the stream. Um, but getting good at the parachute mechanics and being one of the first people down, especially in a place like boot camp, is imperative for you. Somebody's there five seconds before you. It's really no matter where you are, if you're somewhat close to them, it's really easy for a to get to you before you're ready for them and just blast you with the gun. So the first kill is pretty obvious. I got down before that guy and I saw him and I shot him. It's really easy. Do it. But like if you get down five seconds before somebody get a gun, you see them, you get to kill them. It's a free kill on boot camp or any hot drop where you are literally on top of somebody fast enough to take them down as soon as you, pretty much right after you land. The second kill is I heard this guy. I know he's around the corner. That's why I checked out the room. And then I peeked the other corner. And I just, I didn't peek it. I knew I had an Uzi. And I'm just going to strafe and hip fire this guy and do my best. I didn't know he had a barrel. Um, but... Uh, my the Uzi's at its best when you are at point blank range and you can just keep moving and forcing them if they're especially if they're an ADS to have to track you and it's really difficult for him to track across the screen. Whereas I could just hit fire and blast him. Third kill, guy jumped in my window and I shot him in the back. I don't know. <laughs> it's like you just didn't hear me that's all it all it is half of the kills in in closer combat end up coming from you being able to sound somebody and he didn't hear me fourth kill me and that guy saw each other we knew each other we were there either through hearing or sight i don't remember if i saw him in advance he pushed me and uh oh no he shot at me earlier and uh, i was just metting in the corner there and then he pushed me and i i could sound that the whole time I knew he was coming around the corner. He did a wide peek, and I just hit my shots. He knew. He didn't. I don't know if he knew where I was, actually, because that would give me, like, a fraction of a second to get that kill a lot faster than he did. I also had a barrel, which is just going to TTK him way faster. Oh, come on. Come on. I need this. <laughs> this flies, dude. For anyone who's been in my stream for a decent bit of time, they know that one of the things I hate about PUBG the most is the flies on Sandhawk. Just an FYI. Yeah. Unless somebody's over there. Can't see him. If you're wondering why I'm not like getting awesome. out of the lobster and just chasing everybody down like a chicken with his head cut off it's because a lot of the time when a hot, when boot camp is really hot the first time you leave the lobster you suddenly get third party by somebody and it's like i'm just making sure that i understand where people are before i leave lobster because i'm eventually going Fifth kill is nuts. I, watching this, I was like, how the hell did I know this? But uh, I'm pretty sure I knew somebody was on the far oh, side of my door. building. And I just happened to peek the moment he peeked. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have heard him making some mo like, moving. Even though the plane's moving over, I don't have a full explanation for how I happened to, happened to be here. But I domed him. <laughs> I double tapped him with a barrel on iron sights. So that felt good. But it's, this is kind of a fortuitous situation where he peaked and I peaked at the same time and I hit my shots. Right there. Something, if you, I don't know if you notice me here, say is always shut this door. When you're on the second floor of boot camp, 
I mean, when I played a lot of boot camp, especially when I played duos with Raj for a long time. And the things that we died to often in Lobster were people sneaking in on the far sides of the buildings. And having those doors make the noise that they make and to just be a fraction of a second um, in terms of how long it takes somebody to get to you if they're pushing you from those spots is it makes a huge difference on you surviving or not surviving if somebody is deciding to push in. I don't know why it's with a barrel with no attachments on iron sights, but for whatever reason, I'm a, I'm a bot with this gun in this in this game. So this guy, I'm just hearing on the far side of the hall. I know the peaks. I know how the peaks are going to work, but I make sure that if I'm peeking, sometimes you'll see me do things like jump to a spot where I'm going to peek. That may or may not help prevent them from being able to anticipate where you're going to be peeking from. If they heard you move... Like if they heard me run across the hall to the window, that they might be able to hear that I will be probably peeking this window and they can pre-aim it. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So, but in this case, I, I hit tags first on that guy and he kept peeking and I have a barrel. So it's like his choice to continue peeking was probably a mistake on his part. I wanted some of the loot on the rooftop of the hole here on lobster, so I went out there to grab it, and this guy just so happened to walk out at the same time and not look my direction. I doubt he would have anticipated seeing somebody where I was, and I just happened to headshot him with that gas and iron. So, uh, again, kind of fortuitous that he walked into the open and I just shot the guy. So, not not too much to learn in that case. Just hit your shot and miss your opportunities. Okay. The gods of PUBG decided to real right grant me a crate <laughs> literally right outside of Lobster, which is kind of hilarious. But uh, there was a guy on the boxes over there. He had just shot at me, and then he kind of just ignored the fact that I existed. And he had, he, he was probably looking when for did I start on being top able of to aim boxes. Because when I shot him, he went down real, real fast. So he probably just didn't have any health. Are you in this game, dude? This is not the game for you to fuck with me, because I will wreck you. My friend Major was uh, trolling me about uh, stream Q, Q sniping me, so uh, all my shots are landing <laughs> I, right now. I, told, I threw down the glove back at him. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on. Man, that barrel was spicy. And then the gods of PUBG decided to... Give me another yeah, crate. Just, just the right at the now. warehouses on boot camp too. Yeah, so I obliged them and accepted their blessings. Oh, I already have a three helm. Well. Oh, grazie. Him. So we just got on the roof and tried to look for targets to snipe, and we found a guy. Pretty much, uh, my opportunity to kill this guy was 100% his, his a result of the mistake. Was that the that he same made. guy? Might have been. Him peeking, giving me an opportunity to hit him twice, is not something that you'll ever have the opportunity to do against like a bit better player. It's time to. He's part, got though, 200 plus meters in front of me and him. There's no reason for him to not just be able to med and hide um, in between getting hit once. Let's boost. And beer. Nobody shoot me while I do this. So somebody just shot at me while I was moving around this house, and I knew he was up this hill toward the blue edge. Of course, he got excited. The reason I got in the house isn't because I was, you know, scared to take that fight. It's because I don't want to get third party by another person on the edge. There's the chances of us being on the high what? Uh, population side of the map over here as the circle move is popping east further, especially as Somebody all else. the people that need There's to get no the rivers and come from other places on the west part of the map, north part of the map should show up on these edges at some point. I didn't not I didn't want to try to find this guy. While the blue was, was so close, and the likelihood of getting first party was, like was pretty right high. So I got in the building in order to prevent myself from getting third party while I tried to figure out this guy's movements. It 
So the little window hop there definitely gave me a quick peek and probably he wouldn't have anticipated it unless he was already hard peeking in that direction. The thing is, I didn't want to be greedy and just keep shooting at him again because of third party and because you know, he figures me out, he preempts me, he goes back to cover, he comes back, and he starts shooting at my window, he starts hitting me. Here, I had an opportunity to put tags on target and then just get back um, into my cover and then start to rotate and figure out another opportunity or another angle to work with on, against this person. Now, he has to accept the fact that that window is a potential spot for me to peek from. He needs to check it regularly, and that kind of widens the diversity of where I can peek this guy from on top of the fact that I'm slightly in a bit of an advantage now because he's he's lower on meds or lower on health than I am, and I'm about to, uh, and I've just, uh, again, made a larger spread from the peaks that I have for him. This guy was feeding me was trying to do some cute shit, probably with a red dot on a Q QVU. And to be perfectly honest, the recoil on a QVU is not fun to shoot. So uh, I would never want to shoot at a close range target, even if you have a red dot on it. You can you kill that, but he potatoed there pretty bad. He should have killed me. 100% I should have died. Only the fact that I, ha I happened to get shot at when I was at that tree, and he wasn't shooting an automatic weapon, is the reasons why I, could, I had opportunity. To turn and kill that and Ugrosic melts people. This little sniper exchange with uh, Thrasher one two eight one two eight was um, actually a trade. He shot me in the chest or in the limb or something, and I shot him in the head. Uh, AWM is gonna hit this target first. We shot at about the same time, but you could hear the thud of my character getting hit with a bullet. But it wasn't a headshot because no blood came off of the. The blood came off of, like in front of my screen. Uh, you can tell when you get headshot because you see blood um, on all your screen from the headshot. But uh, he would have bodied me if he shot first, and then I would have traded with him and shot him in the head no matter what. So Fine. GG is a good solid shot. Fun. I love sniper fights. So uh, having an arm in a sniper fight is like the, the best thing in the world. So here is like the beginning of Endgame, it's top 10 already, and I've killed a bunch of people on this side of the circle, and I haven't heard other people fighting on this side of the circle, but it, especially on Sandhawk, like you still need to be really thorough with clearing your edge. So I'm pretty much not playing in the circle right now, because I'm just making sure no snakes get in behind me and shoot me in the back the moment I start shooting at somebody else. Because I don't want to die like that in this game. So I'm being pretty thorough checking my angle or checking my edge, even though I was just here. Just making sure my area is clear. Somebody's over here, I guarantee it. The reason I say that somebody's over there is that uh, this area uh, in this, the red circle is a choke point that anybody coming from west that crossed rivers earlier are likely to move through unless they come in a little bit further south of that. But that pond, that pond right there is, um, you know, it forces movement to go south of it for the most part because it's really easy to shoot down on anybody around that pond from the hill that I'm on. So all the red X's are areas that I've already cleared. So I know the choke point to my north and northwest is already clear, but the, the choke point to my southwest, I have no idea. And I know it's a highly trafficked spot. People often get in fights when they're moving east to the circle in that area. So here, because I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I killed a decent bit of people on my side of the circle, it's been quiet for a while. That's but now I need to slowly start to um, move uh, either east or west along the circle edge and clear every single tree, every single spot. Here I need to be really thorough. It, <clears throat> the other side of the map could have five of the seven people and it could be me and one guy on this side of the map and he could be prone in a bush or something. So I need to make sure I take things slow and really make sure I uh, clear everything as I'm moving to the best positions I possibly can be. In this case, where I want to go is up that hill. I don't want to end the game in a situation where two people are shooting downhill at me who can't see each other and I'm just getting lit up because they both have vision on me downhill.
So this shot is kind of fortunate that I hit it, but I don't know that it's the best decision that I possibly could have made here because if this guy was ha like a pretty good player, and I have no idea he never had the opportunity to shoot back at me, but um, he, like he, if I missed that shot, I would have been downhill and I would have had to move toward the circle edge in order to um, because I the circle was already moving on me. One thing I could have done here is is walk at walk at him, get closer, so that I could guarantee if I didn't hit a headshot, a body shot, him. and then flip into uh, my AR and finish him, or throw a grenade at the cover that he's on, or just wrap up the hill and just give myself an opportunity to move up the hill. But uh, if I missed that shot, he would have had a lot of, a good opportunity to kill to kill me. Granted, I had an arm again that would, would you know that's a you know the Lord's uh, holy weapon. So, uh, but. Maybe not the best opportunity that I took, but it's hard to not shoot it all. Yeah, well, he guy. definitely will not be where his smoke so, is. So, trying to figure out where this last guy is, I generally thought that he would be along the same ridge line or hill that I'm on, on the far end of it, because I feel like there's a lot of cover to approach the center of the circle from there. But, you know, it's not necessarily a bad play to go somewhere where your opponent wouldn't expect you to go. So, he, he ended up wrapping downhill. But um, eventually kind of figured out the uh, the smokes and the frags that he threw kind of gave away not necessarily where he Wait, was, but what well. quadrant of the circle he's in he's of, on the, the, edge of the, far edge of the hill. Sec second to last circle that you see he was in. Like I know he's in this northwest quadrant generally now, oh. unless he tossed a you know an Elway throw or you know had a good damn Marino arm and tossed a really far smoker frag, which would have thrown me off for sure, and it does work sometimes to throw a fake smoke at that point but uh, or throw smoke one way and, and wrap the opposite direction but I, I definitely was like okay this guy's not going to be by smoke and just not the best spot but he almost he still almost got me I kind of potato I feel like at the end but we ended up getting the exchange okay so I hope this was helpful this is uh, again intended to really help you guys get into my mind at least you know and to understand a little bit more in depth Fine. the way I'm thinking in, in these situations and in these games, Finally. at least in some Finally. of these decisions. So Finally. that I make, you know, why I do these things and, you know, maybe try to figure out what, what, how, what I'm doing relates to the bigger picture uh, of how the game progresses. So That's let me know if this was helpful for you get for any of you. If it is, I'm definitely going to keep making these videos. It's kind of fun to make, and they actually help me analyze my own gameplay and find faults in my own gameplay to try to get better myself. So I will see you guys on stream shortly. Take care.